Hey folks, this is Mark from E-Mountain Bike Adventures, Bend, Oregon. And if you don't know where Bend, Oregon is, it's in Central, or Central Oregon, just a little uh, east and north of Portland, Oregon, which you probably have heard of. Well, this is going to be a short and sweet review of the Mongoose Status 2.2 21-speed mountain bike, a 26-inch size. Now, this I got from Amazon at the incredibly, incredibly, incredibly low price, truly, of $239, folks. $239 for a brand I've heard of, Mongoose. Okay? Mongoose. I've heard of that. <laughs> One of the pioneers in mountain biking, uh, if my uh, me memory serves me right. Okay? Got the beautiful Mongoose. Status 2.2. Now, there's also a status 2.5, which is the same as this bike, uh, I believe, except it has disc brakes. Okay, now, $239, including free shipping from Amazon, folks. Free shipping. Now, let me tell you this. Uh, most uh, mountain bike purchases on Amazon are now doing a new thing, which is they're charging $80 to $100 for shipping. Now, on Amazon, most of the mountain bikes, e-mountain bikes or standard mountain bikes, they're charging $80 to $100 bucks for shipping on top of the price of the bike. Uh, not this one. This one includes free shipping, 239 including free shipping. All right, let's take a look at it from the ground up. First thing that we've got is some uh, nice, aggressive, pretty aggressive tires. Let's get some focusing on here. Focusing. Okay, I think we are getting focused, and my eyes are out of focus, yes. Uh, so that's pretty good. Pretty knobby, pretty aggressive. Um, they're pretty good sized as far as this way as far as the width they're pretty good size and I can tell you these do very very well in snow uh, I've done about a, m a month and a half six weeks worth of riding with this bike and these tires do very well on all surfaces including really well in snow alright so uh, start from the ground up which we just did the tires okay the rims pretty standard I like the, I like the uh, first of all there's a lot of color choices and I like this one it's called uh, just blue but I call it the uh, Aquamarine Metallic. Yep, I really like it. And I like the uh, the uh, Chartreuse, maybe? Lime green? Neon green? Neon green. Accents. Okay. So back from the ground up situation. So we got the tires, which I like. They do very well. And then uh, I like the blackout. You, know, you got the blue on the paint on the bike. Then you got the black rims and the black uh, cranks and uh, everything else. Is a lot of black... Uh, on the bike uh, to go with the blue, which I think looks really great together. Yes, the blue paint and the various black components and, and stuff. Okay, so then the front uh, shocks here. Now these aren't as big around as, as as the shocks on some of my bikes. Can we get focusing? Can we? Yes. Okay, the shocks on this bike aren't as big as the shocks on, on uh, some of my bikes as far as, you know, diameter. They do the job very well, folks. Very well. Now, I've got uh, videos of this, a video. I've got my first video of this bike doing a trail riding demo. And uh, FPV, I run an FPV camera on my bikes. FPV camera on the bike mounted in various positions. Uh, a color FPV monitor with digital video recorder on the handlebars. So I get a live image all the time. And I did a uh, trail ride demo uh, with FPV camera on this bike. That really shows how fantastic this bike is for trail riding. And, including the performance of this front shock. Front shock works great, in my opinion. Especially at the price point of 239 I mean, everything about this bike is fantastic, in my opinion, at 239 I mean, really fantastic. Brakes are great. Uh, as I said, the front suspension is great. Tires are great. Uh, brakes are what you'd expect, which is perfectly, perfectly good. Not perfect as in, not perfectly good as in perfect, but perfectly adequate. Quite very adequate, okay? And, uh, okay, and it's got twist, twist grip shifting, which most things do nowadays. Um, but I like that. Okay? So I'm not sure if I'm getting the focus here. I'm getting kind of irritating. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, um, oh, the gears, the Shimano gears. In my opinion, they're very smooth. You get 21 gears. I like the gearing very much. You know, the gearing, uh, you know, the uh, the gearing selection that you have. I like very, very much. 
uh, the seven uh, gears that are on the freewheel. And then the Shimano uh, derailleur here is very smooth, very nice, it's great. Um, this bike uh, what else? does not have index shifting, it just has standard shifting uh, by twisting. Twisting the grip, uh, but that works very, very well in my opinion, very well. Uh, here it says status, kind of hard to read, but status 2.2. And again, 2.5 has disc brakes. Even the saddle, I like the saddle even. It's comfortable, but not too comfortable. It's a nice, uh, you know, pretty slim profile. Uh, nice and firm, nice and soft at the same time, if you if you will. Okay, and then the rear suspension works really great in my opinion too. And on that video I just mentioned, onboard uh, video camera on the bike, uh, you can see that rear suspension working great from, from the back uh, as you can uh, the front. Um, yeah. What else have we got? Quick release dealio on the seat. Fine. Uh, I guess that's about it. Your standard uh, thin uh, plastic uh, mountain bike pedals. Uh, uh, that's you know normal. And their front derailleur. Derailleur. There we go. But yeah, everything. Oh, and that's there's a close up of the shock. There's your pivot. There's one pivot point. I'm trying to keep my shadow off things here. There's one pivot point right there, center screen. Let's see. That's the upper pivot point there, and then down in here, it's hard to see, but down in there, it's dead center screen, is the lower pivot point, yeah, and then uh, this here too, so there you go, and again, this bike I think works, uh, the suspension I think works great, the front and the rear suspension are fantastic, it's a comfortable ride, no matter what you're doing, and if you're going over some bumps, I haven't gone over logs and stuff with it, but going over rocks and bumps um, and stuff, it does really, really well in my opinion. And uh, the trail ride video that I demoed this bike with, it's a trail ride. It doesn't have any hardcore stuff, but it's got plenty of rough, plenty of rough portions. And again, bumps and roots and stuff. So you can get a good uh, sample, sampling watching that video of how good this bike performs with a suspension, but you can get an extremely good sampling of this bike's performance if you watch my video, uh, which again is the uh, Mongoose Status 2.2 uh, Trail Ride Demo video on E-Mountain Bike Adventures Bend, Oregon. All right, so I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. I think it's very nice. I love the color. Let's see if we get a close-up on that color not nice clean welds nice clean welds in my opinion very nice very nice very nice all right so we'll close with this shot and i'm going to say i got a brand new channel and i appreciate it if you enjoyed this, any of these videos i appreciate it if you could give her a th give the video a thumbs up consider subscribing got all kinds of stuff going on i have a dog buddy i got a dog trailer pet trailer schwen scamp uh, pet trailer and we just did our first trail ride together. My dog buddy and I did our first trail ride together because we have a trail worthy bike trailer and a trail worthy bike. I'm using my E mountain bike when I told my dog's uh, trailer and my dog. And that's the uh, Totem uh, Victor 2.0 E mountain bike. But this bike here, the Mongoose, also tows the bike trailer very well with my dog in it. And we do that as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. This is Mark at E-Mountain Bike Adventures Bend, Oregon, signing off in 54321.